In this video, I'm going to be talking about action potentials and how they are generated. Now, before I start talking about the action potential itself, it's important to remember that at rest, the cell on the inside is negatively charged relative to the outside. It's actually negative 70 millivolts is the, um, is the charge inside of the neuron, okay? Uh, now, in other cells, that can be different, but in neurons, it's about negative 70 millivolts. That's called the resting membrane potential. Now, before we start with the action potential, upstream somewhere, there was a signal, okay? It could be a, a ligand gated channel, a mechanical gated channel, it could be a voltage gated channel, it could be trauma, it could be anything that allows positive ions to flow into the cell, okay? And those positive ions flowed into the cell because of that signal. And they started to move down, okay? And as they move down, they depolarize the membrane, okay? Um, now, once the, the positive charges get here, if it depolarizes it to something called the threshold membrane potential, then magic happens. And threshold membrane potential typically in a neuron is about negative 55 millivolts. So, let's say that happens. Then that activates this sodium channel and this potassium channel. It activates both of them. But, the sodium channel is the fast guy, potassium channel, not so much. You're going to see what I mean in, in a second. So, when it activates this, what happens is this channel opens, okay? It opens right away, immediately. And because there's more sodium on the outside than on the inside, sodium's going to want to rush into the cell. And since sodium is positively charged, that makes the charge inside the cell more positive, And it goes very, very quickly. Okay, charges it. It approaches um, the sodium equilibrium potential. It doesn't quite get there because of this inactivation gate. Uh, one of the inherent functions of the sodium channel is that after uh, about a millisecond, the inactivation close, gate closes. Okay, and that stops that influx of sodium. So it reaches about 40, positive 40 millivolts. Okay. Now, like I said, this potassium channel is a slow mover. After It doesn't open until after about one millisecond. But when it opens, that's when it starts to work, okay? Now, on the outside, it has 120 millimolars. On the inside, excuse me, it has 120 millimolars. And on the outside, it has 4.5. So this is going to want to move down, just like the other one did. But in this case, down means going from inside to out of the cell, okay? So if you're taking positive charges out of the cell, that means the, the inside of the cell is going to become more negative. And it approaches the equilibrium potential for um, potassium, which is negative 80 millivolts. Um, it actually gets pretty close because the inactivation gate on potassium, just like everything else about potassium, is slow and it closes after a little while. So it gets down to the negative 80, and then after that, it's gonna slowly repolarize right back to our resting membrane potential. And that is um, action potential in a, a nutshell there. Um, I'm going to do another video talking about two particular aspects of action potential. I'm going to talk about accommodation, and I'm also gonna talk about what determines the speed at which an action potential is propagated in that video.